Welcome to another tutorial. I'm actually redoing this tutorial to condense a few things, and also because uh, public matches for Black Ops 2 got a nice little update. It seems like now that every single public game has a chance to get a uh, dedicated server. Keep in mind this is not every game, as people can still pull hose, but it's a nice little addition as it's possible now to hide your IP in every single public match. Uh, it's also possible to force a dedicated server, and you can actually prevent dedicated servers if you want. So in this tour, I'm going to be showing how to do all those three, and also forcing hosts. Once you finish up with that, we're going to be setting up Zone Alarm for the basis for all these tutorials. So first, just open Zone Alarm and Kane. And there we go. Yes. Okay, a few details. Settings. Keep that on medium. Uh, i got to turn my Xbox on. I'm currently not on a party, so you're just going to have to follow me talking, so I hope you have your volume on. Uh, first, you want to poison the connection. Let's wait for that to come up. Fuck, that's taking a long time. There we go. Um, for setting this up, what you're going to have to do is every single IP that is not a Black Ops 2 or an Xbox Live IP, you're going to have to put in your trusted zone and your zone alarm. So, Black Ops 2 is the 209, 170s, Xbox 65, 55, 42 numbers. I don't have any of them up, but I do have my friends already in here. I recommend putting every single person in your Xbox Live party into your trusted zone. If you don't, people just start lagging out of the lobby every so often. Once you have that set up, that's all you have to do. The first story will be forcing a uh, dedicated server. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is go to Add, IP Range. Uh, the IP start is 108.61.0.0 to a 108.61 to 255.255.255. .255 and these are the dedicated servers. If you're forcing a dedicated server, you want this on trusted. Just hit OK. You want to put your firewall on high and then just search. Doing that gives you two things. One, you actually will pull a dedicated server. You don't have to worry about anybody dashing. And two, every single person who is not in your trusted list will not be able to see your IP. So essentially just hiding your IP also. You can do this in League Play and every single playlist that I've so far found. So if I just go into multi-team right now, you'll see the dedicated servers pop up right there. Okay, the second one is preventing dedicated servers. This one's pretty simple too. All you have to do is go to View Zones, double-click on this dedicated servers, and put it to Blocked. If you don't care about joining random games, keep this on Medium, and then just search. You will not find any dedicated servers doing this. So now if I search, and back out without getting thrown into a lobby, which I just did. Uh, every single IP here is not a dedicated server, and I'm probably going to be blanking those out anyway. There's two ways you can force host. You can force yourself host, or you can force a friend host. I recommend forcing a friend host because you don't have to worry about lobby merging, migrations, or anything. And you pretty much know exactly who is going to be host. There is a small chance it might switch over to another person in your trusted zone, but, but it doesn't ha happen often. Also, when you're actually forcing a friend, friend host, anyone in your uh, trusted zone, if they're host of a game, it is possible to get into their game. I've had that happen a couple times, you usually know exactly who it is, and you just can dash a loading screen or back out, it doesn't matter. Forcing yourself host is, one, is just a pain in the ass. All you have to do is put everyone who is in your Xbox Live party, your lobby, whatever, into your trusted, which we've done earlier. Next, you put this to high, make sure you're the lobby host, and then you just public match, find match, and you want to search. And I'm going to remove all these and have them go through. All you do is wait. It will give you your own lobby after a while. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, when you're searching, make sure you put your search preference on best. Uh, it will give you a lobby faster, I believe. So, it takes a little bit, but you will sooner or later get your own lobby. I'm actually going to wait, so make sure this is still working. Okay, there we go. I just got a hardpoint slums game. Uh, next, all you have to do is put your firewall to medium. And players join. Now, I say forcing yourself host is a pain in the ass because once that is on medium, uh, the host can migrate. You can merge lobbies. It's very, very easy to merge lobbies as is happening right now. So I'm going to put that back to high and I merged before I even got in. Uh, if it starts searching for a game again, if you put that to high, everyone in the lobby will be kicked out, but it will prevent you from joining a different game. 
Now, forcing your friend host is a much better way. And same exact way as everything else. All you have to do is have your friend who you want to be host to host the lobby. Join their game, put your firewall on high, and just leave it there. And just have them search. It puts you into your own game because you cannot actually connect to anybody. So there is no host that's uh, good for you. So they just throw you into your own lobby. There's a couple safeguards doing it this way too. Um, if the host does migrate out of your trusted zone, you will be kicked out of the game before it even starts and just tell your friends and have them dash loading if the game did start and you'll be fine. I have had only once that the game has actually started with me blocking them, but I think that was just a fluke. I had no idea what the hell happened and luckily they didn't dash. In this tutorial we went over forcing dedicated servers. This is for people who don't care about having hosts and they just want to have a decent connection or don't have to worry about people dashing. Um, that you do not have to be poisoning with cane. We also went over hiding your IP. This you must keep Kane poisoning the entire time. It's a little risky doing this because Kane has been known to crash for me occasionally and that will kick you out of a game. We have also went over preventing a dedicated server. I don't see why anyone would do this without actually forcing hosts instead. But for anyone who just doesn't want to force hosts or just don't want dedicated servers, you can do that. And last one's forcing hosts. I actually forgot to mention, but you cannot have the uh, dedicated servers in your trusted zone when you are forcing yourself or someone else host, otherwise you'll be put into a game. All in all, I think that's pretty much everything. There's more things you can do with this, but I really don't want to show people how to do this, because I'm pretty sure people will just start abusing doing this crap. I think people can agree. But all in all, I think that's everything. See ya.